Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bert Doman on December 6th with another episode of Chart Predictor. Today is Santa Claus Day in Europe, and this is when the children put a shoe on the windowsill. They polish it first, and then Santa Claus will come during the night and put some candy or cookies into the shoe. And if the shoe isn't polished, or if they have been bad, then of course you get the lump of coal. Okay, so much for tradition. On the, uh, Friday, we had a big rally in the stock market. The big question is, is this now another big up move? Or will it result in a trap for the bulls? Uh, I want to take a very long-term view of the markets. Uh, because we do the short-term stuff in our services, like the Wellington Letter and the Smart Trader. We look at intermediate terms and short terms. But the long term sometimes is really important to look at. This chart of the, is of the S&P goes back to 1997. And here you see the big top in uh, 2000. Here's the, top, the bottom. And you can see that the first attempt to go down, this is when uh, a couple of the big hedge funds actually dumped all of their long holdings and stocks. Uh, then there was a big rally after that, and it looked like that might have been the wrong move, but they were right because uh, the secondary top uh, was the top that was important. And this is what you usually have, is that you have a downturn, and then you have a, another secondary rally. The secondary top is the dangerous one, and this is where you want to be shorting if you're an uh, actual trader, and this is where you make a lot of money on the downside. Uh, we had the same thing here in 2007. It was the first uh, top in uh, July 7th, then uh, uh, July uh, 2007. Then we had the downturn, a strong downturn, and then we had the October top. I think it came around October 11th, 2007. And two days later, we said that the top is in place for the bull market. And then, of course, we had this disastrous decline. Uh, here again, you see the first top. This was the primary top. Secondary top sometimes are higher than the first one, not always. Okay, now we have this rally here going into uh, the current uh, uh, 2015, which could be an important top. Uh, here's the S&P. The first top was uh, in uh, August. Then we had the uh, very sharp decline, over a thousand points down in the 30 minutes on the Dow uh, on August 24th. And then now we've had the rebound as the uh, Federal Reserve's uh, plunge protection team goes in there and pushes the market up to a new high. And uh, I would expect that uh, they will probably make this a new record high in the market on the S&P and the Dow Jones Industrials. But the more important indices like the New York Composite, which includes all the stocks on the New York Exchange, or the uh, Russell 2000 Index, which includes 2000 stocks, will not make new highs because they're far below. Now, the, the, here's the thin line. The red thin line is the ETF for junk bonds. Credit markets are always much more important than the stock market. They give us very good signals. When uh, uh, credit market stress increases, junk bond prices go down as yields go up. The lowest grade of the junk bonds, this, the triple Cs, they got up to a yield of 16.6%, .6%, which is horrendous. I think it's a new record high. And uh, this is at a time when the, supposedly there's calm in the credit markets. Well, that's an illusion. The worst part is always the, the one that gives you the earliest uh, warning signals. And here you can see the big difference between the junk bond ETF and the stock market. The spread was uh, very big, and that meant that we're going into a top. And then the junk bonds started declining before the stock market, actually. And now we have this big difference again between the stock market and the junk bonds. Junk bonds are really telling us that things are uh, starting to fall apart underneath the surface. So uh, these are signals that you have to look at. I always see another thing, and that is a triple top formation. You know, in the markets, uh, if you believe in a chaos a theory and a fractals, uh, it doesn't matter if it's a long-term chart like this where each bar is a monthly or if it's a daily chart or even a five-minute chart. Uh, the patterns remain the same. Here we have a, the first top, second top, and long-term subscribers know that the third one is usually the killer. 
that's the place where you want to sell short. You don't want to be long because you will get killed. You want to sell short because you will make enormous amounts of profits on the way down. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, consider subscribing to our services. Uh, it's really well worth your, your while, especially at Tops. We've called every uh, important market top over the last 30 year, 38 years, and we hope to do so again. Thank you very much for joining us. This is Bert Doman signing off.